Greetings. This is the ancient one, downtown winder out at the loading dock of the golf shop. So I've got some words of wisdom. So J.H., he's a wordsmith. His father was a Ph.D. college professor. J.H. has a doctorate degree in biomechanics. He knows so many words. I enjoy his use of the vernacular. So I'm here. They call me the Georgia golf guru. So maybe I've got some things to share that might be helpful. So I had to look up these words. I keep a journal. Three words. A logarithm, neuroplasty, and cognitive dissonance. So let's talk about cognitive dissonance. And all these I had to look up. They're not my normal vocabulary. Cognitive dissonance is refusal to entertain any other's viewpoint or ideas. They're locked in. That's what they know. They're not going to change. Uh, it's thinking inside the box. Blinders on. I'm not going to check something else out there. Well, it's kind of sad, and that's what happens to a lot of us when we get old. But this is what keeps me young. And J.H. and Bill with Channel Lock has really fired my neurons. And the other word, neuroplasticity. <laughs> There's a mouthful. Well, we have neurons over a hundred a billion, supposedly. We use probably less than 10%. I'm trying to go for 11. But we need those neurons firing and moving and being somewhat plastic and mobile, rather than locked in, rigid. The old saying is if you don't use it, you lose it. And at almost 84, I can still make a reasonable golf swing. I use them every day, I practice, I play. It's releasing the inner child in me. It's a very healthy thing. So the other word is, this is a good one, algorithm. <laughs> I just recently came across that. Now, you computer guys, you know, computers are set up with algorithms, the combinations of, I guess, numbers, maybe letters, but our mind is also these connective algorithms. So if I'm going to pick up this, I have an algorithm that tells me I'm not going like this or this. I, I just picking it up. It's not a. I can hold it. Algorithm. A grip. This. I want to throw it. All of these are algorithms that come naturally. Now, if I'm juggling three balls, I can't even juggle one. This requires algorithms. And I can build these neuronal connections, but I don't have the patience or the motivation. My son can do it, but uh, it's not worthy of my time and effort. Bounce a ball on it wedge i can do it maybe three times but golf is very worthy so satisfying to build these algorithms bill sent a clip of a scientist a, actually uh, he attempted a he, he conducted an experiment riding a bicycle so he had a welder friend and he welded the the the, the uh, handlebar. So if he wanted to go right, he'd have to turn left to go right. If he wanted to go 
left, you'd have to turn right. So entirely opposite, well, you'd think you'd get used to that. I had a 27 foot travel trailer, traveled all over the West, over 3,000 miles. I've been to every state of the Union. And I could back that thing up. So if I wanted to go left, I'd just turn right, opposite. Well, you can learn that. But on a bicycle, just like golf, you're, you're moving, you're trying to balance. Wow. It took him eight months. <laughs> so he finally, he got pretty adept at it. His son, eight years old, he did it in two weeks. So that's why kids, their brains like a sponge. They can take in all these things and form these neuronal connections, algorithms. Good on a computer, uh, iPhone, iPad. Anyway, he went to Amsterdam, rented a bike that was conventional, and he got on that, and <laughs> he kept falling off. It, it took him 20 minutes to rewire his brain. So, the, and they were just laughing, people watching him. So, good lesson in rewiring our brain, and that's what golf is. So, it's a challenge for you high achievers. I issue this challenge. Channel lock will get you there in the easiest possible manner. So this is the ancient one, the Georgia Golf Guru, signing off. And I'll talk to you all later. Ciao.